Hello everyone and welcome to special episode 27 of Lost in Translation Month. I'm May. And I'm Jay. And this time we are sort of going, looking back on our thoughts from the try episode that we released yesterday and have any extra thoughts that we have because it's been over 24 hours now and we have a few listener opinions that we were sent in and we didn't really want to cover them in our next postmod pat for episode 123 for our main episode because n- not everyone may have seen try by then or maybe they don't care about try so i just thought we'd address it in a special quick 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 follow-up episode uh before we get into anything i just want to mention that we actually have a couple of polls running at the moment so first of all i've mentioned this before and now i'm actually ready to post it since we just covered the atmon finale and we just recorded that so that'll be up in a week from when we're saying this and when we're uploading this episode so this is a full survey with all the episodes from every season of digimon obviously except for try because that hasn't finished yet and it's not really a series of digimon and we'll have your face favorite and least favorite characters like Goal kids and least favorite and favorite episodes for each of the seasons and your favorite seasons so we'd really appreciate if you would to, to spread that like wildfire as jay says and to participate in that it shouldn't take too long and of course, we'll link everything we're about to talk about in the in the link dump. Next, of course, we obviously had our weekly poll for episode 122, which we released yesterday. And then, of course, we next up have one just for the people who are interested in the blog and posts that we have in our blog. And this one I've already mentioned. It's also on our website. And it's sort of like what sort of content do you want to see on our blog. And then we have some polls for the, about the release of Try Chapter 5 and the finale of Atmon. And I will actually get to whatever results we have so far when we get to our listener opinions section of this follow-up quick mini podcast thing. I have some extra thoughts. Yes. First of all, I did, I mentioned this when we were watching it, but I didn't mention this in the episode, but it actually kind of bothered me a little bit. And it's, it's very minor, but it bothered me. So Huckmon's voice was weirdly deep and we already had him voiced in Cyber Sleuth and he actually sounded like a kid because he was learning from Gankumon. Didn't he speak in like part two or something though? He has this voice. That's what he has. I know, but he, he, he spoke in the last part, I think, or he spoke in the previous parts and then it bothered me. But now because he, he actually had like a soliloquy soliloquy because every character in this chapter had a soliloquy it's not what a soliloquy is you know that right i thought soliloquy was when you like have a big speech that you just speak by yourself for like a couple of minutes you think of a monologue a soliloquy is a speech like to the audience i guess it was a speech to the audience no it wasn't it was a speech to daigo yeah and the audience no he was talking to daigo oh, okay you mean directly to the audience I, a soliloquy is a you're having a conversation with someone it's you and me right now yes and i turn to the side and say Okay, audience, this is now my th- internal thought process, and I'm going to explain okay. to you all the things I'm thinking okay, about. No, okay, and the person point. over there doesn't hear you. Okay, you're right. It's a, it's a monologue, man. Fine, yeah. fine. I suck. Anyway. Also, it's a dialogue. They ask him questions. And if it's Dago speaking, it's a Dago log. I can't sandbag. You can't sandbag me because I <laughs> cut out the silences. Damn it. Insert sandbagging here, I guess, because my jokes are apparently not funny. It wasn't. <laughs> it was. I think you'll find it was. And so, yeah, in Cyber Sleuth, he has like this kind of like childlike voice. And I feel like that voice fitted him better because he's very childlike. I don't think it does. I think he looks like a little dinosaur. Why would that have a... Ch- he doesn't look like he should have a voice. Like- he has an adult human voice and it doesn't fit. It looks like it should to me. But that's only because you've heard the yeah, other one before. because I've- his character in Cyber Sleuth is I'm probably I'm telling you that you're actually wrong. And then we have the next part is that during the scene where Digimon are causing issues around the world. And I actually like this scene. This was, this was an okay scene. Yeah. But it was kind of like pushed out of the way by all the scenes that I wasn't entirely a big fan of. And there's a girl who has a V-pet and she says, I'm totally not feeling it. Ex- ex- and ex- she uses the exact line that Astra says. Is that so? Because I know yeah. the, the V-pet says, I'm going to kill you. No, but she said, oh, I'm not feeling this. Okay. So she actually says, sure, not and I. Sure, okay. And it's great. I love it. And I picked that up, but I forgot to mention it because I, I, was, I, I was disappointed with the lack of hype. Fair enough. It was actually a good scene. Like, I really liked the scene. I went through a lot of negative stuff. When we covered the po- the Eplip it movie, was but mostly negative stuff. I didn't I didn't cover this scene, and I kind of like the scene. I mean, it would have been better with wow, the international Wow, you love that three seconds of nothing. Yes, you're right. Good on you. And also, a bunch of people have linked this to me today and yesterday. <laughs> yeah, um, da- blown up. We in this scene where I was like, oh look, Bearmon's there. It's really exciting. I love Bearmon. daigo has got goals around his neck, and I was just like, we still don't know who the goal kid is though. Yeah, you messed yeah, up. It was around his neck. 
I did say you should go back and look at it again in case there's more information in that because it shows it for a really short amount of time. Yeah, I was just like, oh, just long enough for you to go, there's a bear. Yeah, because I was more interested in Bearmon than the goggles around his neck. And I was like, oh, I guess, I guess they're not that. I guess Marky, like, goodbye, my hopes and dreams of a of a female digi destined goggle kid. So I guess that also sort of explains Daigo's like he's much closer with Ty and yeah. sort of there's and why he'd risk his life something for him. thematic going on at the end there when there's both of them going down and also I mean he does have the Dai in his name whatever which is in everyone else's Takado I think it's with that Masaru uh, it's in the uh, Daimon I think also I might be wrong but maybe Masaru's like mm, I'm probably wrong oh you're right it is Divus Daisuke Divus Divus you want you want him to Divus <laughs> please Divus. But I'm Haru. pretty sure the, the, the yeah Haru's weird. Dairu. Ha- Haru Haru just just gets rid of that. The die is a curse though. We, we we've now learned this. Get rid of the die, you'll be he'll be better show. Tai Taichi. Yeah. Takuya Takato. Takuya is a, a stretch. Yeah, but it's all the the, the sound. Stretch. It's the same sound. It's a stretch. I'm not sure if it's the same kanji, but it's the same sound. Whatever. Anyway, Which means nothing in Japanese. There's we, so many different. Oh, this kanji's hard. Are we going to letters? Is there more stuff you want to talk about? Well, there's more stuff. I just wanted to say that yes, everyone stop telling me I'm wrong. I, I, I realized I was wrong like the second I released the episode, and everyone said, "Oh, uh, Daigo does have goggles in the scene that you said that you like." Get ready to get like Twitter messages about that for the next like year. But I mean, like, I mean, yeah, to be fair, I was wrong, and I should have gone back and paid more attention. Then get ready. I cared about the bear. Are you ready? I'm a care bear. And my next point is that both Hikari and Taichi have darkness evolutions. I did also think of this when we're watching the the movie, but I think a lot of the negativity got rid of any other thought that I had, which is a problem. And that's why that's, this... that's why I felt the need to do a second uh, follow up for it. And I dragged Jay along. I was just going to do it. I, I was fine with doing it solo, but I was like, yeah, but I prefer to do it with you. And he was like, fine. Those dark evolutions are so differently done. Like, mm. you, I, th- I don't know what relation there is between them. Here. Yeah, it's still a dark evolution. Like we have Taichi who were just like, like, look, you have to evolve to, to help my friends. And then Hikari just snapped. Yeah. Yeah. And I uh, know it's like the, the Hikari scenes were actually okay in the, the in the last episode of Try to it's, Chapter Five. It's worth mentioning that they were kind of okay. Yeah. And I just have a question of because we've seen the poster, but I won't tell I won't say what the poster is right now. We have a bit for the poster later on. But How's that guy coming back? <laughs> Well, do do we get another evolution for Hikari, like a, a like a genuine evolution? What do you mean? Because that wasn't a genuine evolution. We saw that Nyaramon was absorbed by some big goop and then became full down mode. Like that yeah. was that was clearly a darkness evolution. Well, how could you evolve when it's you don't have a Digimon anymore? I think it's gonna un unmerge. Okay, and then it'll go what back to Seraph uh, to Ophanimon? I oh, know Ophanimon or Holydramon. Which no, we Holydramon's saw, not real. We saw in the CSA Digivice. It's not real. And we saw in the card game that's that's. A can be Holly Dramon. But look, it's a Fanny Mon. Look, I don't mind which one it is. Look, it's right there. She can have three ultimate evolutions. I don't care. It's also weird that she never tried to get to Holly Dramon. Are we just saying that Hurricane Touchdown's not canon? Yes. I guess so. Okay, where's Willis, man? <laughs> Where is he? He's the big bad. Where's the golden digi eggs? Willis is Libra. <laughs> what? A- oh my god, don't even Could start with me. Could you imagine? Because like, he- in the dub, they did say that Diaboramon was his creation. Imagine if Libra's also his creation. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know, but can you it's imagine? Nonsense. I don't know. It's, I don't know. Imagine Willis. Imagine even, Rio. I'm not even gonna. Imagine like Tai Chi from the- V Tamer no, showing up. I'm just up. gonna shut my brain off now. Also, another thing that I like that I don't think I mentioned was uh, the Totori Ben and the, the sort who? of the Totori Ben, which is the Totori dialect. Oh, sure. Okay. That Mako speaks in. And the subtitles like kind of have their own sort of localization. It's like, yeah, yeah, top bloke. And he's, and she's saying, yeah, yeah, instead of you. And sure it's just kind of like a. I love this feels like. You are a like- top bloke. I, I really feel like you've just searched through the trash and like picked out. Well, this is okay. Because I don't like being so. I mean, no, I, be negative. Okay. It deserves it. It is still the worst chapter of Try. For sure. But there are f- some bits that I, I mean. I think we just glossed over the favorites because you're like, and straight to negatives. Because there was really nothing like that good. These are all miscellaneous bits, May. Also, They're I was all th- miscellaneous. I, I was thinking about Marky's gun, and I was like, it does change a lot. I maybe it's not actually there, and this is just Marky's instability that is causing it to possibly change. Because that's happened before, right? I don't know. Like, we are shown that she's rather unstable right now. Sure. Because the digital world has often made guns. I know. I was thinking about that scene quite a bit. I'm Because it was... Pr- the, the best parts of the movie to me was the Hikari's darkness evolution, the dark ocean with Maki, mm-hmm. uh, the, the a- vaguely Atmon-related scene... Which reminded me of Atmon doesn't because, even we, count. because we saw how like Digimon were affecting the world. Just reminded me of Atmon and Atmon's great, so that made me happy. 
I don't know. And, we, I mean, we didn't really talk about Maki's mental state much. It's not worth talking about. She's only in it for, like, 20 seconds. I wonder what happened to Bakumon, because she was... No, did she kill Bakumon? No, she's just sad. She strangled it in the last chapter, though. I don't remember. She strangled it. It was very annoying. She probably just picked it up. Digimon don't need to breathe. No, no, she strangled it. They don't need to breathe. I don't know. You can kill... Well, if you strangle a Digimon, you can probably still kill it. Why? They don't need to breathe. Good point. That's what strangulation does, May. And and my next point is that I think another reason I didn't enjoy Chapter 5 so much is because I put so much hope into having a lot of Hikari focus in this. And I know we went over I this in the last one. It. But in the two bits of... Like, the two images that we had. We had the poster, which was the pink background with Hikari holding the whistle, which, by the way, was not mentioned. There was no whistle on this. Nope. Lies. And her looking very dark and very, like, evil. And her like looking depressed or angry. And then the next part was that on the DVD cover, which we saw, we have Mako is smiling and Makumon is smiling and Tailmon smiling. Hikari's looking off into the distance and she looks broken and depressed. And I don't know, I, I put lots of like assumptions into, oh, Hikari's going to be going through some depression in these parts and chapters because of something that happens at the start or just thinking about how she's just all, always a vessel for homeostasis. And while she did All sort of, of those are interesting things that would have been nice to cover, but no, screw yeah, that. That's, that's why I said that's one of the reasons why I didn't like it so much. They were busy giving speeches to Mako. There's no time. Yeah, but I mean, the speeches weren't necessary. I'm not going to say that they're not, but like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of the time was spending telling Mako that we love her. Like, yeah, you can do that. One, one character can do that for a minute and it gets puts the same same message across. And also, we have uh, Mystery Man showing up, which is showing up as Genai, but we also have him showing up as the Kaiser at one point. That part got me excited. Nothing happened because, like, after it. Pretty much. He was just showing up as the Kaiser at one point in this movie for about a second. Yeah, was why very- did he do that? He's already revealed himself. I know, I know. We didn't even bring it up because it was such a nothing point. And I've just remembered it when I was thinking about the movie today. And I was just like, why is he showing Like, I remember shouting at the screen, why is he showing up as a Kaiser? And I was getting excited. There were a few points in this movie where I got genuinely excited. And it's not worth it, man. The majority of the it. times I got excited, I felt like there was no explanation or nothing. It, it finished. Like, oh, Marky's in the dark ocean. Never going to see that again this movie. Oh, Jedi is showing up as the Kaiser and is directly above homeostasis at one point, hanging upside down like a bat. Not going to address it. He's upside down a lot. Yeah, I know it's to show that he's like unstable, but like, I don't know, f- focus more on that. I don't know. Uh, it's it's still horrifying. He was being horrifying and I wish that they acknowledged how horrifying he was being. Why would they? No one even saw him. Speaking of Jedi, and this is another point that I have, because I, I just, so you know, I have made lots of notes because I had so many thoughts today. We already talked about this whole show. You're just mentioning stuff that's like kind of miscellaneous. Yes, because I feel bad that I missed out on so much because one, I, I, I mentioned this in the edit update that I did in the last special, but I had a very, time. very bad moment migraine i was not well um so my thoughts weren't coming super close to me i did in fact actually lie down on the floor after recording because it just hurt so much so yeah that was a thing and i'm still wondering why jen i had the dark masters i mean even if they're not the real dark masters and they're fa- they're fake or they're illusions or they're just copies or what have you i don't understand why he chose them and why not any other ultimate level digimon maybe like we can say oh it's because that would scare the kids or we can just say oh it's to to show the audience hey look do you remember the dark masters and i probably think it's just that what do you think i don't know i I don't even think the show puts that much thought into anything they do anymore i don't have any faith in this you know none like imagine if he showed up with the holy beasts that would mess maki and daigo up oh it messed at least one of them up yeah well daigo had a holy beast that was mine maki was sad she didn't have a holy beast And speaking of Maki, I feel like they should have focused on her more. Like, it would have been nice if she was on this poster, on the Chapter 5 poster alongside Mako and Hikari, and we got more of her in the movie. And I wish the movie, like, said, oh, Hikari and Maki are rather similar. They've both been possessed by homeostasis. They've both been to the Dark Ocean. They both possibly have dark sides. And I just wish the movie sort of had had bits to, to, to do with that a bit more. Yeah, I know. I also wish they'd use their time more wisely. That's what we complained about. Yeah. Also, Crunchyroll did have, and we mentioned this, but Crunchyroll had Coexistence as the title. Do you prefer Coexistence or Symbiosis? Symbiosis, because it's more in line with the rest of their titles. Yeah, yeah, me too. But this is this is strange, because this is the only one that the Crunchyroll titles differs to what we call it, if I recall correctly. Maybe the synonyms in, like, the Japanese, like, the kanji means the same thing. Probably. I don't know. Well, Coexistence 
Symbiosis is similar to symbiosis, right? Yeah, of course. They're very, very similar Mm. terms. But I feel like more people know of the word coexistence than symbiosis. I mean, that's definitely true. Yeah. But symbiosis is a much stronger word. I'm not even sure it really applies to this episode. Yeah. But it's a much stronger word. Well, it's to what happens at the end, right? The the, the big, scary jogger fusion. Fusion is not what symbiosis is. Oh, yeah. Good point. (laughs) It's like really not what it is. Symbiosis is two life forms living together and benefiting each other. Not not becoming one life form that are indistinguishable. Not becoming an Evangelion angel. Correct. It's just that's just what it is. Boy, howdy is it ever. How many times in watching Digimon have we said this is Evangelion? Not much. We've said it in the Zero Two movies, Revenge of Diaboromon. We said it in Atmon constantly. Oh, okay. I think we said it in Frontier as well. I mean, if you insist. Oh no, like Evangelion is has big monsters. What do you want? Um, now we are going to talk about the poster because Jay wasn't present for the actual poster discussion that we had. So if you are not interested in the poster, you should probably just skip to the listener thoughts because I will be putting segments in this. So just Can skip to the I next skip segment. skip to the listener thoughts? No, you have to give your thoughts. Well, it sure is a poster. I sent it to you the but other day. Do you have a picture of it right now? I remember it. Okay. Everyone cares about Mako more than anything else. She's the most important character in Try. Yes. Everyone go save her. She's important. Those are my initial thoughts as well until I realized that there's Wizamon at the top. Still the same thing. Well, it's Wizardmon's hat. And I just zoomed in and I just circled it and I was like, guys, look. Also, he's dead. Mm, the reboot. The reboot happened. Yeah, but he wasn't there to get rebooted. I think all digital life forms might, may have been re- rebooted. <sighs> Except for all those ones that don't count. Also, what if Vandermon's coming back? Probably will. He was the ultimate bad guy. I bet he's Libra. Like, he seems to always come back when Wizardmon's has something to do, maybe. Wizardmon's probably there as his hat and says, Yo, Vandermon's back, yo. It was Vandermon all along. We said it was a Pokemon, but we were wrong. It's, it's Vandermon. <laughs> We was always Vamdemon. Also, there were a bunch of feathers, like black feathers floating down. I Do you think this is because of the, the fusion or do you think it's something else? What, out of the um, portal? No, no, out in the poster, there are all these feathers floating down from behind Omegamon. And it, there's one next to Mako. I honestly couldn't tell you. That sounds like just a lot some... of A lot of people have just started saying Beelzemon because he has feathers in burst mode. <laughs> it's not be, it's not Beelzemon. That's silly. If it is, I'll eat my Digimon. Like my Digimon V-Pet. I have it in my hand. I'll eat it. I'm ready to eat it. I'm glad. I want to see that. Please be Beelzemon. But it's probably... It's, You're on record now. We did have the part at the start of chapter five where like there was a feather in blood and that was a black feather. So it could be like a reference to that. It could be a reference to the wings that the big, totally non Evangelion angel has also it looks like Leviathan from the from the Atmon manga a little bit in the way that's a big naked lady I guess it does a little bit also, Taichi's alive, by the way. Just in case there was ev- ever any sort of like worry or anxiety I didn't even think about, about that. that. Ty's on the poster. Oh, look, there he is. Don't worry about it. They're all reaching out to Mako. He come. He came back to tell Mako that she's special and important, and that he <laughs> loves her. <laughs> You're right. I know I almost died, but it's it's really all about you and your friend. Also, Megamon's there. Really important that you know this. So I'm actually kind of surprised that Maki and Daigo aren't there because I was always like, oh yeah, Maki and Daigo are probably going to be on the last poster because they're important. They 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 are the original Digi Destined, which is something the fandom has been wondering about and asking about and questioning and theorizing about since they first aired that episode in the 2000s. It's just it's a big question, and they're not giving them the poster, and it's just. I don't know. And now I've seen all six posters. Uh, my last question. What is your favorite? I don't remember them all. Why I would I Why I would I remember them all? I remember them all. Okay, I, I well, guess good I'll, for I you. I guess I'll make you look at them and ask you another time. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you. Because this poster is good, but it feels too top heavy. Uh, I mean, I'm not a graphic designer, so I don't know. I w- still really like the chapter two poster. I don't remember it. It's uh, Mimi and Rosemon and Joe and Vikemon and they're fighting in Pildramon. Uh, Okay. It's great. It's great. It's fantastic. I mean, I believe you. I'm not really sure what you expected from me here. Yeah. Listener thoughts. Oh, thank God. We're at the important part. I'm going to read these because I dragged Jay to uh, to record this with me. So, But to be fair, we just we did watch the finale of Atmon and Jay wanted to watch that. That was way better. Like, Jay actually wanted to cover that and it's... I did. It's strange where Jay actually wants to watch Digimon. All right, Atmon's done now. No, we, it, we get to do like half as much recording every week. This is sweet. But also we get the quality of stuff that we have to cover is going down, that means. It's true. It's true. We still have V-Tamer, which you like. Yeah. You like two things in the Digimon franchise. You like, did, you like V-Tamer... And you like Atmon. Yeah. All right. So our first one is from at P96822, who says, to make things even more dumb, in Try they can kill Mekumon because they're in the digital world. And I think we kind of guessed that, but I think they actually have to kill her dead, not just kill her, maybe. I don't understand what is being said. Like, if you killed them in the digital world, they come back as eggs. 
Yeah. Yeah. So I think he's saying that she'll just come back anyway. So what, why are they hesitating killing her? Oh, right. Yeah. No, that is really stupid. Mm. I, I think that was first brought up when they're in the real world, but then they're in the re- then in the digital world. Make uh, Maker says it's okay. Wow, that is insanely stupid. I didn't think about that at all. Yeah, I mean, you could say, oh, but she's still an issue. No, you can't say that. Maybe I don't know. Because it's an if it's when it's an egg, you have tons of time. You step on the egg. No, you just have tons of time. You're like, yeah. okay, is it got a virus in it? What do we do? We can figure it out. There's no pressure. None of this like, but we can't kill your friend who you decided it's okay to kill, even though it's only your mental state we're worried about. See, I didn't really think about this entirely either, because like the show is telling you it's a moment to be sad and it's to be un- it's it's undoable. It really feels like the writers do not know what they're doing. Like they, they haven't thought anything through. They've had, what, nine months at a time to get it right, and they just refuse. Mm. The next question is from Anonymon, who says, Do you feel like the whole reboot arc was completely pointless? I do. Yep. Because the, the reboot, besides making their Digimon, like, stupid and not understand what continuity is anymore, hasn't done anything. It didn't get rid of the virus. You know what's sad? It only solved the main problem of episode three, like the conflict of episode three. I and mean, that was a good episode, mm. but then that was all it was. Yeah, but you know what's sad? I don't. And it's sort of just like what you just said. Chapter three was probably the best part of Try. Yeah. You could remove it. It's because tr- chapter two starts off with Makomon is evil and it just killed Leomon. Yeah. And then the f- in chapter four, we know that it's evil. It would only sort of make tr- Try chapter four make no sense because they spent a lot of it getting back their Digimon. But you could probably just move, move that too. It's true. It's, it's an arc that sort of goes nowhere. Because At the moment, it is meaning like it is meaningless. They are they are best friends with their mm. partners again. Magically, it's like nothing ever changed. If the whole point was to, um, it was still emotional. If the whole point was to solve the virus issue, it wasn't there. Although we understand that the reboot was part of. What's her name's plan? I never remember her name. Homeostasis? No, the girl who was Daigo. Maki? Maki wanted the reboot to happen. Yes. So that was part of wanted, her plan. She wanted Bakumon back, who was killed dead. Even yeah. though even though Bakumon was in the diddle world when he died, possibly. Or maybe the Dark Ocean. Maybe. I still think it could be the Dark Ocean. Which the, Hard the, to say. where the fight was. So the point the point is that the reboot had to happen for her story to continue. But it's not like her story's been at all relevant at this, up to this stage. Yeah. We have another Anonymon who says, Hope Try ends with a cut to a black screen that says, Mako died on the way back to her home planet. <laughs> That's funny. She's poochy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's... Uh, and you know what? Everyone's going to love Mako. And what's really important is that when Mako's not on screen, everyone should be asking, Where's Mako? <laughs> Yeah, and that's a problem because, like, she was, as I said in the last try episode, Mako was fine before yeah, no, this. As long as she was just a new member of the crew and she acted that way, and she was just a new friend, and everyone she had. had. And, and every other part, she had, act, she had acted as such. But now it's you're really important. We're going to take all. Everyone here is going to tell you individually how important you are, and that's great. When. Are, the, are we done talking about how important you are? Camera can go to someone else. I'm not that important. It's yeah. you. Like, Try Chapter 2 did this really well because the the onsen scene where they're hanging out at the onsen and they say, look, this is for two reasons. One is because it's, hey, hey, we have a new member of the group. Welcome, welcome aboard. You're our friend. And that's fine. But then they also said, but it's also because Taichi and Yamato have been fighting and we want them to get along again. So it's for two reasons. It's not just Mako-centric. And that whole episode didn't have people saying, we love you, Mako. And she was fine. And she even helped Mimi realise that j- even though she's Jikochu it's not necessarily a bad thing because she got Mako to do something she wouldn't have done otherwise and she's happy and I think what's really weird is it's not like the kids are all have a history of perfect friendship like with Ty and Matt fighting you'd think that like maybe one person wouldn't like Mako quite as much yeah like maybe one person would say like I don't I, I really don't care. Next, we have Mormon Nerd, who says they like symbiosis. The point of showing the Zero Two kids at the start of Try was showing that they're off the board. The series- but what's happening to them? You can't just say, don't worry about it. Because there were so many Zero Two kids. And also, TK and Kari were Zero Two kids. It's such a big question. Yeah. I understand what the function of it was, but that doesn't matter. They still need to be asking about them. That, that, like, it, it doesn't have to be immediately solved. It just has to be mentioned in passing. Like, Kari and Tiko say, hey, remember that those friends we had? Where'd they go? So, like, imagine if you were watching Lord of the Rings, right? And you watch the first movie and you're like, okay, but this movie's about this ring and going to take it to Mount Doom. And then they sort of get to halfway through. They get to a third of the way through the adventure. That's kind of how it works. 
and then Two Towers begins, and it shows you a three-second cut of the ring falling into Mount Doom, and then there's a different story entirely. Wouldn't you ask the question, hey, how did that happen? Mm. Mormon Nerd then says, this series is more introspective than action. And I would say, yeah, that's... I, I guess you're right. It does have more, like, more character moments than action. But and that's, that's like, fine. It's it, allowed that's fine, to. But sometimes it's just like... The, there's a difference between having important character moments and then having just something that c- could be shorter or is unne- like is unnecessarily long or is repetitive. Like everyone's telling Mako how important she is. I think our problem here is it's repetitive. Yeah. She is told the same thing about seven times and she's never convinced by yeah. it. And the thing is, it, yes, it's important that we say, Mako, you're important. Mako, you're one of us. But it's repetitive. So but it's it's fine if you like this chapter. It is fine. We Look, just we just don't. You're allowed to be wrong. That's always no, how it don't is. Don't say that, JP. You're allowed. You're allowed to have a different opinion from me, and thus the incorrect one. It is wrong compared to your opinion. Absolutely, and my opinion is obviously right. <laughs> Objectively, that's Mormon how Nerd liked are. the focus on Mako, and they felt that it was appropriate after four movies to have more focus on her. Hikari is their favourite Digidestined, and maybe we could have had a little bit more. But you got a good setup for the next movie. Took Yamato taking the goggles differently? It was a sombre moment, and Yamato realised the importance of the situation. So, uh, just back to Hikari not having a focus and having the focus on the next one. That is why Mako is the focus of that ne- the, the poster, right? Yeah, absolutely. Because she's not going to be she's not going to be that important in the next one at all. Yeah. Not like everyone's reaching out to go save her. Yeah. And I still think that. You know what? If you've got a four episodes in your part, maybe spend two and two, not three and one. And it wasn't even three and one. It was three and a half and a half. Yeah. And you can do way better than that. That's all we're really saying. And you know, if you ha- like it, it's fine. Still have half of the focus on Mako and then the rest on Hikari. Um, and I, I, perfect, I think it's perfectly reasonable to have an episode, like a part that focuses on Mako. That's fine. But I don't think Mako has been suffering from a lack of focus in this series. Because they had to introduce her and they had to introduce all her background stuff. And I think the time they spend going, oh, by the way, we did research on Make on Mekumon and this is sort of her background and her father and blah, blah, blah. That all makes sense. It's fine. It's really boring how they went over it multiple times. Mm. We remember you just told us. Yeah. The next one is from Togatak. And Togatak says that they wonder if the reason Mekumon is just mad is because everyone else gets the pizza while she gets the crust. <laughs> if she's a Pokemon. That's what you get. Confirmed. Okay. Mekumon, like, that's the most important thing, and Daigo doesn't even mention it. Yeah. It's so frustrating. Like, hey, hey, can we just go back to the part where we're talking about a Pokemon now? Yep, yep, that, that was important. That seemed very important. It was really important. How did a shard of a Pokemon get into this cat? This cat, which, by the way, was in the human world the whole time? Yes. Because she met it when she was a small child. In 1999. Which is the same year as the kids went into the thing? Yeah, they, they, they might have been in the digital world at the time. Yeah, so if they're in the digital world dealing with a Pokemon and they kill him, how does a shard of him get from whatever realm he was in to the real world to the cat, which never went back to the digital world because she's if, never been there before? What if, what if the shard of a Pokemon is what Piedmon put in Genai's back? Well, then that would be great. And but that's also, why Genai's evil. But also that means that Piedmon has access to a Pokemon at some point. Yeah, maybe. And also he has shards of him before he was destroyed. And also they have never, ever even mentioned the thing that got put in his back. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure in a CD drama, Koshiro asks him and he's like, I don't know. I guess maybe old, probably. I don't know. Shrug. And like, if it made him, like, why isn't he old? The fact that he's young again also sort of implies that Zero Two happened. Yes. Also, if all the... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Are you dying? It's so annoying. They can't have it both ways. Did Zero Two happen or not? Because or- even if... Even if we accept, oh, they're just off the table. Why isn't, like, anyone saying we have, like, three more people as backup? What, what about if they're the Dark Spores? Or the Shards of the Dark Spores? I don't know. Remember the Dark Spores, Jay? No! Anyway, Togatak goes on to say on a vaguely serious note, I'm very glad that we've finally escaped the plot black hole that is Mako being sad, because this chapter had around four different scenes where nothing happens. We are not out of that black hole, by yeah, the way. I'm, next, I'm, the I'm next- doubting. The final part's going to be half about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doubting. So we had four different scenes where nothing happened except Mako crying about the same thing over and over again to pad the runtime. I'm so glad that other people noticed. Mm. Yeah, well, it wasn't just you who doesn't like this. I've seen a few people who do like it, and that's fine. They're allowed to like it. I don't know why. They, 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 liked the, the, they liked the speeches, and they liked the scenes that we that we weren't fond of. And it's fine. But I'm just saying the majority of people did not like it, I, from what I've seen. Togatak says the Libra is definitely either Mekumon or the pair of Mekumon and Mako collectively. It's not super clear beyond that Mekumon is directly part of it, but it's not so much clear. Libra would make sense as a name for the combination, if it's like a thing of balance, Mm. but 
it, it really seemed to be saying that Meikumon was Libra themselves. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it could be the combination between Hikari and Meiko being light and dark, respectively, because Meiko does have a dark digivice. Oh, uh, wouldn't it be cool if she had, like, the crest of darkness? Yeah. And, like, that's her thing? Well, that's my, maybe that's why it's Libra, because it has the light and dark, and that's why they fuse to become the Evangelion Angel. Look, maybe they don't do a good job of telling you any of this information, like, at all. Also, I just wanted them to become Vandemon. It would have been great. Imagine if they fused to become a Vandemon <laughs> and- evolution. Belial Vandemon comes down like, <laughs> I'm back and they're all like oh god this curry goes I know that voice no Gu- Telmon's like I know that voice Telmon like, can't oh she, she is that yeah you're right oh my god yeah, do you even watch the show no no, I don't. Just close my eyes. Count to ten. Anyway, so we have Togetake continue to say they don't think the Holy Beast will appear anymore, mostly because Tapiamon's existence implies they've all been rebooted. And I know I kind of wanted the Bearmon to show up or something. Or Daigo to say, hey, where's my Bearmon then? He doesn't even question where his partner is. If the digital world got re- rebooted and Maki has her Tapiamon somewhere in the digital world, why isn't Daigo saying, what about my partner that I formed bonds with? I don't know, because he doesn't care and he's badly written like everyone else. That's sad. I wish he was better written. I know, me too. I also wish the show was good. Magan says that they think Omnimon just did Digivolt because he was at the limit, not because of the debris. It was, I mean, it's a really convenient timing. Mm. He had been fighting Makemon for a while and sustained a lot of damage. And yeah, that, that that's reasonable. What's, I don't think it is. I think that that's pretty much the way of saying like... Uh, I don't know, like you're... Dr- I'm trying to think of a really good example of this. Like, it's an action movie car yeah. that's getting, like, smashed into by all these other things going on, and then it finally breaks down and at, at exactly the right moment, and everyone goes, well, that's just when it ran out of fuel. Mm. Like, it's probably at, it's probably from damage. We need the countdown that they get in Atmon. <laughs> Which doesn't even matter at the end. Yeah, because they get they get better digivices. No, no, before that, they just stop caring. Yeah. <laughs> then Magan says that Maki's guns were probably the ex- experimental anti-Digimon gun showcased in part two i forgot about those also she just randomly drops them and it also changed i thought the whole point of those guns was like as a humans think they have developed something and then it just instantly failed yeah like it doesn't work then magan says how they keep popping in and out of existence is unclear either it's bad continuity intentionally done to make her scenes more dreamlike and deranged as she slips into despair and what magan really enjoys about the film is how it built on the theme set up in previous parts on the delineation between childhood and adulthood and the moral ambiguity that develops develops as you grow up. Often it's hard to know where to put your faith. Even homeostasis isn't the pure good entity that they thought her to be. They haven't even met Yggdrasil, only had his will relayed to them. And who knows where exactly Jedi's loyalty lies. So I'm thinking with this gun, just I'm going to mention it. Mm -hmm. I honestly think these are developed over such a long period of time. They just animate a thing and then they put it in the, in the bank and the instruction on their animation probably says she has a gun, right? That's probably all it is. So they don't, I don't think they've even looked to continuity. They just said, she, we've animated things. She has a gun. I know. I like to think. And they put it all together. She's full of despair. They put it all together and they go. Those are different guns. And they go. Oh, who cares? They'll we've be already fine. done it. They'll, they'll accept it. Why would we reanimate that just to change the gun? Ravaleski X says that they think that they're the most hardcore fan. They love the eight characters, but seeing Mako here, she's grown too. But they're adults. This happens realistically. If someone is down, you have to keep showing the person up. Oh, I, I absolutely agree that I don't think that one speech would have fixed her. Mm. I also don't think it should have wasted all of our time on it just imply that everyone spoke to her like you can have a mo- not even a mon like a montage just clip a between montage. people talking to her and like her still being sad you can present this in a way that is more entertaining and gets more information across in half the time or less yes i'm not saying that what they did was wrong from a character perspective that they maybe they wouldn't they would have all given these speeches who cares what I'm saying is they shouldn't have shown that to the audience as if it's really important and they couldn't have shown us anything else. There's so much more important stuff going on. Yeah. It's just boring. They then continue to say that they appreciate every single Tri movie that they that they put out since this might be the last time we see the original characters in action. See, I think that's just, that's more of a way to expect more out of the Tri series because this, this may be the last time we see the original characters in action. Don't we want it to be the best possible way? Absolutely. And you would have liked... Um, to conclude for the fans what's going on with Sora, Ty and Matt wouldn't you like to know what's going on with that what's going on with Matt and Ty because they're meant to be arguing and stuff and they just like sort of drop it yeah and when it finally put push times to shove Matt's just like well these are my goggles now I guess as a lifelong fan I want to know the dark ocean yeah what's up with Th- that that is, my, that is that is why I popped for that moment it's because this is a question that I had as a kid and they're bringing it back they had the the googlies that weren't the that weren't the divermon it's part 
part five, and all they've done is they said, by the way, Dark Ocean exists. And I want to know what happened to the Zero Two kids. There are so many things they can conclude or they can answer, and they've just, they've not answered any questions. They've given you new ones. Yes. And that's so dissatisfying. And I don't know, I don't have any faith anymore that they are able to answer those questions because I don't think they care. They then say, plus people hate Zero Two a lot. And it's funny how no one cares about them. I care about them. No, no. I the characters cared about Oh, I them. think it's very funny. Yeah. Oh, I think it's hilarious. Like, as someone who also hates Zero Two. But, and I would be satisfied if they said everyone slipped in the ba- in their various bathrooms at home and all just died. I think that'd be really funny. But tell me that's what happened. Mm. Or have the kids, the friends of these kids, the joggers partners of these kids question it. Like, I don't mind if what happened to them was stupid. I just want to know what happened. Mm. Don't, don't raise a question and not answer it. The movie is just beginning and isn't over so they could still answer. It's not just beginning. We're more than 80% of the way through it. Yeah, I feel like it's yeah, it's it's not over yet. But as Jay said, yeah, we're almost done. It should be wrapping up. It should have the final last bit. And also, you're allowed when looking at media and in fact looking at life to extrapolate implications out of people's past actions. And what Try has been really, really bad at doing, and mm. I think consistently throughout the, its entire run, is using the first half of any part. The first half of all parts is incredibly slow. Atmon was fine. No, I'm not talking about Atmon. I'm talking about Try. Oh, okay, Try, yeah. The first... I'm not saying every series. Oh, you mean, I mean the part as in... Yeah, the each part, of, part Atmon, yeah. of Atmon, the first half of it has been really slow. Except for Try Chapter 4, where my favourite part was in the first, like, 10 minutes. Yeah, but I wouldn't even say that was, like, fast. I would say, like, it just said, this is a thing that happened, and then they got back to the story. It was also another question that fans have been asking since the start. And that's good. That's honestly the thing that this whole series should have been doing, and it does it, like, once. Um, no, it, well, it does it twice with the Dark Ocean. It doesn't do anything with the Dark Ocean. Where, where it says not- it exists. Exists. Whether or not they uh, they address that, they I haven't addressed they it. They, that's that's raising questions. They answered your question with the original Digi Destin, but they have not answered your question about the Dark Ocean. They just said, by the way, remember this. Um, yeah, and what we what we've learned out of the rest of Try is that what we can expect from Part Six is that about half of it's going to be a waste of our time. I don't want and that to be the if case. If half of it's a waste of our time, then the other half is not enough time to answer all these questions well. It's just not. See, I want Chapter 6 to finally answer everything perfectly, and I want it to say, okay, every other, every season or every part of Try is now now makes sense and is now perfect and is now complete. I want that. I told you, Part 5 has an unexplained... The, the fusion is unexplainable. But I have... The, the I have series of negative. events that move into this are unexplainable, and because they're not in control of the people who would want it to happen. And the poster looks like it's also in- inviting new things, and I won't talk about the poster too much because we already talked about that. And so I'm not saying that 100% guaranteed that's what's going to be part six is like maybe it's just going to be full throttle the whole time answering all of your questions and it's never going to stop and then finally it'll be perfect at the end yes but i think the evidence suggests that's not going to be the case yeah and our last letter that we had was from at digimon fan for life and they say that they want to know what the name will be for the regulmon or fannymon fall down mode joggers at the end of Symb- symbiosis will be and it, if it will be a digimon video game maybe it'll be in hacker's memory wait maybe. what are you talking about the big the evangelion angel why wouldn't they name it in part six i, I hope they do. I think it might be it's Libra. Be, I think it'd be Libra, yeah. Yeah, I think that's oh, that's Libra. Because yeah. I don't think it's a Digimon. I was almost leaning to what it's being called Libramon. Yeah, or a Libramon. <laughs> but I think they'll call it just Libra, yeah. Because Yggdrasil's not a Digimon. And maybe it'll be in Hacker's Memory. I mean, it would make sense that they haven't shown it yet, because that would be Bigum spoils. Wouldn't it be really stupid if it was in Hacker's Memory? Why not? Why would they want to spoil Try for you? Oh, yeah, because Hacker, no, Hacker's Memory is coming out before... Uh, before chapter six, so maybe I don't know. And also, like, it's not in the same universe, so any information mm. it gives you is confusing. Th- there is universe hopping in Cyber Sleuth. I know, but it's just, isn't it just really confusing for, like, is the information in this video game legitimate or is it just wrong? Yeah, you're right. Why would they do that to you? Okay, good point. And just on to our polls now that we had. So first of all, my the first question, and I guess I'll get your answer first before we get to the sure. the results. So did you enjoy Adventure Try Chapter 5? No, the, it was awful. The questions are yes a lot, yes a little, it was just okay, no not really, or not at all. Wait, are you, is this a poll? Yeah, it's a poll. Sorry, I thought you were asking me a question. Well, I am. I'm asking you, what, 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 what would you all. say? See, I would say it was just okay. It's not even okay. Uh, was okay the middle one? Yes. What was the What was the fourth one? No, not really. No, look, it was awful. Even though sometimes it was all right, yeah. the, those bits are not redemptive of the rest of it. Yeah. So you would say no, not at all? Exactly. Okay, so we had 33 total votes. So the most amount of people, so 10 people said yes a little. The second amount, second highest is yes a lot. So this is quite surprising that 19 people it said that. Look, they're Digimon fans and yeah. I'm not, so. 
Well, no, but th- it, it contradicts what I've already seen from other people in the fandom, which is, this was awful. I think when people sit down to have to actually answer the question, they go, but I liked this bit and this bit, which is what you're doing. Yeah. But you're like, you can't, I don't think you can say, I liked two minutes of this overall episode, and thus the entire 120 minutes is, wo- sorry, the entire, what is it, 80 minutes is worthwhile. Yes. It doesn't yeah. work that way. So we had seven people who said it was just okay, and th- that's where I would put myself in, in those, but, well, I guess eight, including myself in that. Then five people said no not really and two people said not at all yeah so good on them. the next question was what were slash are you looking for, looking forward to watching the most digimon universe Apple monsters finale digimon adventure try or neither well you know my answer yes finale that one for sure so this one had 30 votes so the winner was the atmon finale yes six, 16 votes yes try 13 votes neither one vote wow someone's someone doesn't like anything The next one is, what did you enjoy watching more? Digimon Adventure Try Chapter 5 or Digimon Universe Apple Monsters Finale? If this is not a landslide to the finale, I'd be shocked. This one only had 24. Yeah. Was it 23, the finale? Neither had zero votes. Yeah. The finale had 17 votes. Yeah. Try Chapter 5 had seven votes, but I'm dumb. That's about right. And I forgot to add an option of, I did not watch Try or I did not watch Apmon. That would be, that'd be neither though. Because what if, what if they enjoyed watching Try Chapter 5 more because they didn't watch the App Monsters finale? Uh, app, uh, you said which one are you looking forward to? No, wait. No, this one, what did you enjoy watching more? I don't know. I get the feeling that it, because the low number of votes on that one suggests those are the people who saw both. Mm, but I, I would agree. At one point, Try was winning in both of those. Hell yeah, they were. Wait, a Try, no. Yeah. And Whatever. now I'm just kind of like, well, Atmon is the, uh, the one that people were looking forward to most. So yeah, 17... For Atmon, seven for Try Chapter Five, zero well, for neither. That one was great. It it answered all your questions and it was awesome. Yeah, that was fantastic. It answered questions I didn't think it could answer. That's great. So uh, if you're listening to this and you haven't watched Atmon already, watch it. We have an entire uh, coverage of this as as a podcast and it's really good. All of my complaints about Try are like it's asking you questions that are stupid and there's unexplainable stuff in there. I said like multiple times in Atmon, these things here are unexplainable, and then they went back and they said no, this is what it is, and I go, you know what, that works. Or that would immediately explain something you said but what about and then the no, characters would say what about and then they would have that answer. i'm talking about the how do they have the thing yeah um and i think that was they, we eventually came up with a theory of our own that explained it and then they came up with a different one in the show and both of those were good but it was almost in uh, their theory was almost had bits that were similar similar to our theory which meant that it was sort Atmon, of atmon's the best season please watch <laughs> atmon please give it a chance yes it has a dumb premise yes it is for kids it is not like try it is not for the grown-ups it is for the kids it is really good mm-hmm. watch it um whereas i understand in tribe also said some things are unexplainable but they're unexplainable for different reasons mm. like you just couldn't if again i oh god i'm so angry about it again i could not think if this, we're calling this thing Libra, right? Mm. All every step to make Libra happen does not involve Genai in any way. Mm. It's not. Even, it involves Jessmon. He's the key to it happening, yeah. and it's just random. And it involves Ty making a decision. Oh, it's so stupid. Yeah, you're kind of right. It's sad. All right, so th- that's it for that episode. We won't talk about Chapter Five anymore. Oh, thank God. So I just thought. Can I go now? I guess, well, I guess we can have dinner now. So I'm. I just wanted to, as I said, go through all those letters that we got because we got quite a few, and I was kind of like, wow, we're gonna have to cover all these in postmon pat as well as the savers stuff nope so link dumps linked in the description and you can find the polls which i mentioned so please participate especially in the the whole of digimon anime series questionnaire survey that that, that is important you and the polls that we we mentioned and we had the results for you can still participate in those we will answer them maybe in a couple of weeks because i think they're they are important questions do you like atmon do you like try chapter five more our red bubbles also linked in the description you can get more than just shirts there too so please check that out you can contact us and stay updated. You can email us at lostintranslation1 at gmail.com or you can comment on this episode or message us on SoundCloud. You can follow us at Translation on Twitter and you can find us on Lost in Translation on Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. We have a Scrum thread on With the Will and a Red thread on the Digimon subreddit. However, I will not be making a new uh, thread for this, this special so I'll just be linking the one for the last special which was special episode 27, I believe. It was for the for Try Chapter 5. We'd appreciate it if you would review us on iTunes, Stitch, or whatever podcast listening service that you use. And we have a website. You can check out the release schedule. You can check out the blog. You can check out our polls. Check out our surveys. It's exciting. You can also donate to our Patreon, which is linked in the description, from as little as a dollar a month. And I'm tripping over my words. Which you can get access to our listeners like chat group for a dollar a month. And higher levels gets you things like being able to listen to me trip over my words constantly in our unedited raw episodes, which you will get immediately after recording. And you can also get notes, early episodes, which, as I said, unedited, and more.
Thanks to our Patreon supporters, Sam Krieger, who hosts a podcast with Stevie called The Moncast, Stevie, who is also Stevie Patamon on Tumblr and takes commissions, Wu Chinglong, who is twitch.tv slash Wu Chinglong, Metal Mamimon, Joe, Penguin Mage, Anime Guy, who is Anime Guy, Chris Saki, the number one on YouTube, Chuck Mon, Ishpel Bumber, Hiro Lato, Hiro Lato on Twitter, Jason Moroski, Ryuchi, who is Frost Moragic on Archive of Our Own, Stephen Reeves, who is Wildwing64 on Twitter, Kaidawashi, Mac, Noam, Riku, Chisai, who you can follow at Chisai236 on Tumblr, Corey, Kyle, Delady Bugman, who you can read his blog about anime on bagubaragu.wordpress.com, Small Wolfie, who is on Topastic as Small Wolfie and has a comic called Eden of Melancholy, Tom, Glitchgoat, Azrael McCool, Nicholas, Gene Hackmon, Matthew, Anthony, who is at Andoclassic on Twitter, Lizmet, who is Alekmon on Tumblr, Zithobi, Ali Vork, who is Ali Vork on Tumblr, Sporky McFork and Spoon, who hosts a Digimon podcast called Going Digital, Megan, Kyliak, Neobu, Jams, and the Time Optimist, and a little shout out to Jay, who just like looked at me like, no, my notes aren't loaded yet because <laughs> I'm unprepared. I'm not. I was kind of not expected to do the outro. Anyway, you can also make a one-off donation on PayPal, which you can find linked in the description. It's paypal.me forward slash Airdramon. Make sure to let us know it's for the podcast. Otherwise, uh, maybe we'll just buy Digimon merch with it. And probably do reviews on it because people want me to do reviews on Digimon stuff now, which like horror to me. Oh no, you have to make more content. Oh you no. Hate that. <laughs> <laughs> not buying more Digimon stuff. I would hate to do that. You're not addicted to making the content for the show or anything. Well, we'll see you guys next time, and don't forget to do our polls and surveys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Kiss it, kiss it, kiss it, kiss it, kiss it,